Shalom Nikulam. Hi everybody. Hey everybody, we're the couple from Galilee and I think it's Rocky Top. Rocky Top? Yeah, Rocky Top on the way. We are coming back from Kentucky to Tennessee. Unbelievable experience yesterday at this precious congregation. Yeah. But what we want to share with you is something that Noam just about blew me into the Jordan River today. Um, you know, the Lord orders our, our steps, right? He orders our steps. Even when we make a wrong turn, and we think it's a wrong turn, but it's not a wrong turn. But before we get to Ryan, we want to share what happened to you at Hampton Hotel this Hampton, morning. Yeah. By the time we left, there were 20 people that heard the whole story about Israel. Um, they guaranteed that they would pray for us. It was unbelievable. Yes, my beloved really knows how to approach people and just say it flatly. We are from Israel. Yep. Yep. And see the reaction, and according to that, we continue. And we did this with one table, and I, I, I saw the news up on Fox News, and they were watching it. I said, look it, that's where we live. This is where we live. The man, I'm telling you, I loved him. Mm -hmm. His name is Martin. Loved to be on. He just stood with us. He shared with us. We shared with him. Whatever you need. He's in South Carolina, but this is the story behind the story. His name was Martin. So last night, my beloved couldn't sleep, so she asked me to tell her a story. I very often I tell her stories so she can fall asleep. And it was in Czech, 1942, during the Second World War. What's interesting here is that I chose the hero of my story, named Martin. Never has before. Never, never. Never has. And that Martin in the story, he helped a Jew that was hiding. So he took her to his home, helping her out. From the Nazis. Yes. He, he helped her during, and that's always the time that Noam tells the stories. It's the most amazing, he's the most amazing storyteller. And after Martin walked away, Noam goes, you realize the man in the story last night? I was kind of falling asleep a little bit. And I said, yeah, I knew it was a Gentile name. He says, beloved, it was Martin. And Martin came over and shared his heart about Israel as you went after him yes. and another man and his beautiful wife. So then there was, I don't know how many more in the, in the dining, dining room. room. And I just said, okay, I'm going, I, I go for it everywhere. It doesn't matter where. And it was about 12, 15 people, Spanish speaking. They live here. And I said, hey, you know about Israel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, well, memorize our faces. We live in Israel. We pray for Israel. Right. And they so were thrilled that Noam and I came to them and, and talked to them. And we shared with them another couple, another couple. There was like 20 people. 20 right. people heard the message. Now listen to this one. So we're pistol packing hungry, okay? And we're tired, and we've been driving for, what, three hours, yeah. trying to find a restaurant. And so Noam said, okay, turn off to Jericho? Jellico. 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 What in the heck is Jericho? Jellico. Yeah, Jellico. Jellico. I Something. call it Jericho, okay? <laughs> so I said, Noam, I think it's to the right. He said, beloved, I think it's to the left. Right. Well, mm -hmm. uh -huh. he went to the right, and it was the wrong way. So I see a young man always take the advantage of anything and everything. I see this young man working on power lines or something. And I said, hey, hey, we're looking for this pizza parlor. Mm -hmm. And I said, we're in, we're in, we live in Israel, so we don't know where we are. I oh. love this kid. I'm adopting him. He's a man. Yes. He was a young man, like yes, in Israel. young man. Loved him. Mm -hmm. He, I grabbed his hand. We began to pray for him. He. He literally was weeping and said, God led you to me. I needed to meet you. I needed to hear what you had to say. People, it's everywhere. <coughs> it's and, everywhere. Yeah, and then I went out and lay hands on him and prayed the ironic blessing. And he was in tears. And then he told me, can you pray again? I want to record it. Mm -hmm. I want to remember how to say it. It, it just... And then he said, please go to this campsite. Well, you know Noam and I, we'll go anywhere. <laughs> so we go to the campsite, but his mom and his, um, his grandmother that yeah. raised him right, 
um, they weren't in the office. So as we were going by, we said, Ryan, tell your mom we love her. Tell your grandma we love her for praying for Israel. Yeah. Yes, there are some very uh, people that don't give a rip, but we're finding the remnant. But from that point, I mean, from this story, we can learn that even though you make mistakes, yeah. The Lord can always change yeah. it and you learn things from in the spirit. Yes. And that's yes. something we have to remember so we, we don't criticize ourselves for yeah. making mistakes. Amen. Because the Lord can always change it. It's something we learn in the spirit. Genesis 17, 1. Exactly, right, Noam? Right. The Lord is telling Abraham, walk before me and be not blameless. Blameless is in English. Yeah. That's like you need to be perfect. Yeah. But not. And be innocent tamim yes that's the word we need to be innocent as a child as yes. yeshua said only he who has faith as a child will come to the kingdom amen. of god amen so tomorrow we're going to be back in tennessee i think we're in tennessee now right we are in anyway tennessee. we're going to be back but there's two t okay i don't know what just happened but there's two scriptures that is going to blow you into the Jordan River when you hear the Hebrew meaning of it. It is going to blow you into the Jordan River. Okay? So tomorrow we'll just do a normal. We'll just yes. do a normal teaching right, on the video. Now it's not normal. Okay, no, it's not normal. <laughs> okay, we love you guys. Love you. Blessing.